Okay, there, Jen and I. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what resonates and leave what does not. If none of this resonates, go ahead and try a different message. We're going to start with the fire intuition. My tears have healed my heart to see what somebody wants to say to you. And we're going to pull from a couple other decks. I'll announce them as I pull them up. But at the very end of the reading, I'm going to do the answers for you. So go ahead and come up with some questions. They do not have to be about the reading. They could be about anything. And I'll let you know when to pause if you need more time. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. What does somebody want to say to Gemini? Please and thank you, Spirit. I love when we wash each other's backs in the shower. Ooh, I'm on the way. Some of you guys could actually be watching this while you're waiting for somebody to get there. I see how bad I messed up. What else does this person want to say to Gemini? Please and thank you, Spirit. I love you suspiciously. That's I don't like that. I don't like that suspiciously. Like, why Why the sus? Why? Especially right after the I messed up card and now you want to be suspicious. Like, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. You're really suspicious. You're fucking suspicious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why are they so sus? Let me see, though. Let's see. What else does this person want to say <sighs> to Gemini? I'm going to rip your clothes off. Oh! <laughs> oh, when I see you. Um. Okay. All right. That's <laughs> unexpected. And I don't know. It just seems a little bit inappropriate when you've got these two cards. Like, are they on the... I, are they on their way simply to get down and dirty or like, because that's kind of what it seems like. That's a lot what it seems like. Let me pull some messages of love oracle cards for you. Let's see where this is going to go. Messages of love oracle cards. For Gemini, in regards to whoever this is, definitely coming off like a karmic, but let's just see. What do the cards have to say for Gemini in this situation? Please and thank you, Spirit. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Is it? I don't know. It's just, it's coming off really fucking weird, you know? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Integrity. Does this situation align with your ma uh, wow. values and morals? I usually say morals and values. Uh, so that's saying it backwards. I almost mixed the two up. <laughs> I was going to say vorals and malus. <laughs> like, what the fuck is what? What is that? Uh, <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck, we have decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. And I fucking knew it. Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. They are very passionate about the bedroom boom. But when it comes to other things like building a future and creating that nest egg and, you know, they just don't, they're not ready for it yet. Somebody's not there yet. They're just not there yet. I, I knew there was something suspicious about it, so, like, I'm not too surprised. It's just interesting how true love wanted to come out first. Emotional, physical, and unconditional. I feel like that's you. I feel like you're the one trying to truly love this person. But they've made the decision that this is just strictly sexual for them. That's ugly. That's ugly business. Let's see. From the Lightseer's Tarot, what additional messages do we have for Gemini? 448 in the timestamp there. Interesting. I 
I just heard somebody say I give it a zero out of ten. Would not recommend. <laughs> I agree, though. I agree. You know, because when you lay with somebody like this, you feel dirty. You know what I mean? Ooh. Somebody has greasy hair, too. Like, wash your hair. The conditioner is only for the tips, not up by your scalp. That's where your, your shampoo goes. The first shampoo will break up and help to start remove all the oils, but that second shampoo will actually really get rid of it. Somebody has really greasy hair. I don't know why I'm like flashbacks to when I went to beauty school and I'm like, okay, so this is how you properly wash your hair. Um, but yeah, this that that's weird. Somebody has greasy hair. Like they don't take care of themselves. I wonder if it has to do with their crown chakra. It's mucky. There's something off about this person. For Gemini, please and thank you. Can I get some cards, yo? Been shuffling. It'd be nice. <laughs> That's what we're here to do, right? King of Swords. Aquarius energy. Yeah, you see the big picture here. Page of Pentacles. This person could be physically on the way right now with something in their hand. Um, oh, oh, for some of you guys, um, <laughs> it's the Bob Marley. But, like, what is... Uh, this person's true intentions here. Three of Wands. Yep, so in the future, their intentions is to take everything they can from you. They're going to leave you wounded. Like, you're going to... They want to see just how far you'll go to create the balance and stability in this connection before you've had enough and you just can't do it anymore and you start building a fence or a wall with this person. That's the I love you suspiciously. They love you until you're so wounded you won't let them love you because it's not love. It's not love. <clears throat> <coughs> this person wants to play house. Please do not fall for their bullshit. This person only wants to play house. I'm sorry, Gemini. I know it's not what you wanted to hear, but like... This is truth be told. I am not trying to make excuses or condone the bullshit. I just want to get straight to it. And these is the facts for somebody. Maybe not you, but there is a Gemini here. Yep, look at that. King of Pentacles in reverse. And it landed on the screen so you could see it. And it landed on what? Strictly sexual. This person does not want to build a family with you. They do not want children with you. They just want <clears throat> to put their seeds somewhere. Like, oh, we had two over here. Five of Pentacles, nine of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, that's feeling left out. Feeling insecure. Feeling like you don't matter. You're not good enough. And the nine of Swords is the fucking nightmare card. This person is not the one. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry because y'all don't deserve that. You know, I have watched Gemini be fucked with for years now. I feel like when your person comes in, speaking of Bob Marley, you really won't have to worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. But this shit is exactly that. It's shit. It's just, it's just sexual. That's all it is. They're going to tell you everything that you want to hear, but they're not stable. They're not consistent. They're not loyal. They're not faithful. They're not going to be around for a long time. This person wants to play house. I am so sorry. But you know what? At least you know the truth now. At least you know the truth now. Let's go ahead and um, pull for your answers, your questions. If you guys need more time to come up with questions, go ahead and pause. For Gem or answers for Gemini, please and thank you. Answers for Gemini. All right. Now that everybody's ready, let's go ahead. Get some answers for Gemini. Your questions could be about anything. It does not have to be about the reading. It could be about anything. Answers for Gemini, please and thank you. We have no. Within the next few weeks. Oh, the signs you could be dealing with. We have Taurus and Aquarius. That was it. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Answers for Gemini. Not the right time. Unlikely. Opportunity. Within the next few months. Compromise. There's something better. Yes. And romance. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, Gemini, stay beautiful.